When the Brannock family purchased their dream home, they begin to receive disturbing letters in the new series, The Watcher. Their stalker could be anyone, including their neighbor, Mo, played by three-time Emmy winner, Margot Martindale. Take a look. We are doing what we've done for the past 20 years, which is getting in our vitamin D and harvesting the wild arugula that grows along the fence. We used to call it rocket. Now it's all French. Got to call it arugula. Okay, okay. Uh, look, you are on my property. All I'm doing is harvesting the arugula that I planted and has migrated from my side of the fence. Oh, yeah, well, can you just pick the arugula that's growing on your side of the fence? I just told you it migrated to this side of the fence. Watch out. Uh-oh. And Margo is with us now. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you. Great to see you. Oh, you don't mess with Mo now, no, do you? you do not mess with Mo, the most curious, interested, uh, obnoxious neighbor you could ever have. Oh, but how fun she is to play. Let's talk about this, this, the whole set. Set the whole thing up for us because it's based on a true story. It's based on a true story about a family that moves to Westfield, New Jersey and, and moves into their dream home. I remember this story. And, yeah. And, you know, I, I only found out about it. Uh, that's a good look. Uh, I only found out about it after I took the job. So, uh, uh, I read up on it, and uh, it's these people re start receiving horrible, uh, threatening letters uh, from somebody who calls himself the Watcher. Yeah, and it's loosely based, right? Like the idea is, but a lot of the things that happen are, yeah, are liberty, liberties for. Well, you know, it, it, then you know, you it's the springboard. Yeah, it's to, the springboard to, to the Ryan Murphy's back. imagination. <laughs> yeah, which he's so good. He's, but I mean, Mo, who you play, adds. You know, she adds some humor, but she's also got this dark side. So, you know, uh, we got one script at a time, so you, we didn't really know who, what we were doing. Yeah. So each each time, I, we would go into hair and makeup and say, "Are you the watcher? Are you the watcher? Are you the watcher? Are you the watcher?" How are you? <laughs> she, Margo is is waving to our next guest, Gary Lebox, because they have sung together before. We talked about that. Before. <laughs> He's the watcher. <laughs> He's the watcher. <laughs> Um, but it's such an amazing cast. What was it like working with them? Because I heard that you um, maybe had, you were cracking up off, off I camera. Had, I, had, I had some problems with laughing. Uh, I got in trouble on a Friday night, but you know, I apologize to the crew. <laughs> but it's, it really is such an awesome cast. And so when it's you a, see the lineup the, of the people you're, you're going to be playing with, I imagine it's pretty exciting. So fun. And yeah. I knew, I knew, uh, two or three of them very well because we'd worked together. Yeah. So uh, this one especially, 22 years. Oh my God. With Bobby? <laughs> With Bobby. Yeah. Terry Kenny, 40 years. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, and Richard's a neighbor of mine. Oh my gosh, uh, I love him too. <laughs> but we see all types of neighbors in this show. Speaking of neighbors, what kind of neighbor are you? I imagine that you're a very different neighbor than Mo would be. I hope so. I hope so too. I really do. For I, Richard, I hope so. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> uh, well, fans are excited for the return of your honor. Um, what can you tell us about season two? Well, I have uh, shot uh, two episodes, uh, and they will be doing ten. I'll, I'll be in a few. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a very emotional year. That's, yeah. yeah. Well, and it was only supposed to be one season, It was, right? but, but uh, it was a, a very successful on Showtime. Showtime, and uh, and uh, they they brought it back for uh, one more season. And so, were you surprised when you got the news that it was coming back? Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, I, we were we were. I was certain it was a one one. One, one and shot. done. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. and done. But you also have another project coming up on Peacock, uh, Mrs. Davis. Mrs. Davis, which is uh, I I took because I loved the world that this fellow created, you know, and. Uh, um, I play the mother superior to uh, Betty Gilpin, who's the lead. Yeah. Oh, I love. And you work with such great people. Yeah, but really, I she's imagine a great girl. You're the one they book, and then everybody else follows. It's like I don't you think set that's the true, bar. But. Well, you can catch The Watcher streaming on Netflix now. We're going to have a little reunion with you and Gary in, in just a minute. Mark? I, might I might have to remind him. <laughs> oh, you will. I doubt it. It was so nice to chat with you. So Thank nice you, to see you, Sarah. It was great to be here.